I'm Chad Chong, it is Monday, and this is my last gaming news video of 2013, so let's make it a memorable one. Woo! G'day guys, welcome to my final gaming news video of 2013. We're about to hit 2014, and I'm going to take these glasses off because they're really, really goofy. Anyway, make sure you smack the like button for today's video because it is the final gaming news video of the year. Also, smack it because I'm going to have to clean all this crap up later on. Look at this. Look at this madness. Anyway, woo! Holy shit! <laughs> um, if you missed yesterday's video, it's linked down below or annotated on screen right here. It was a FIFA 14 video. A lot of you guys loved it, but a lot of you guys didn't actually see the video. I know you may not be a big fan of FIFA 14, but this video is pretty damn good. I'm pretty proud of it. Also, the people that watched it loved it. So yeah, anyway, go check that out if you want to. But now, let's get into our first gaming news report of the day. And everything today is big news. Big news! So our first big news report of the day is that Rockstar Games has actually responded to the possibility of GTA 5 coming to next-gen consoles. This could be classified as sad news, but I don't really want any sad news in today's video because it's the last show of the year. But yeah, Rockstar has said that they really don't want to talk about anything. They haven't announced anything, so yeah. Now this news has been going on and on and on, and a lot of you guys keep asking me if the game is coming to next-gen consoles. And honestly, I think it could be coming to next-gen consoles. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't think we're going to see it though. For some reason, I feel like Rockstar just aren't going to do it. Yeah, they could get those extra sales, but it's maybe not worth their time. From what I'm hearing, they've gotten another game in production right now, so they're working on that for next-gen consoles. Also, Rockstar North is dedicating so much time to GTA Online and making that a better service. So being completely honest with you guys, I doubt we're going to see GTA 5 or next-gen consoles. It really depends on how difficult the port is for Rockstar to do for next-gen consoles. If it's a really simple thing for them and it doesn't waste a lot of their time, we could possibly see it. And my guess is if they do end up porting it over, we won't see a physical retail copy. We'll end up seeing a digital copy instead. But then again, we don't know if it's really going to happen. So quit asking me on Twitter and Facebook if GTA is coming to next-gen consoles. I really don't know at this point. Nobody really knows. Rockstar is the only one that really knows that stuff. And they really haven't said anything. And today, they have pretty much confirmed that. Anyway, let's get on to a lighter topic of the day. Because our next big news report is something really awesome. If you play Minecraft on the PlayStation 3, you're one of half a million people. Yes, 500,000 people now have Minecraft on the PS3. It's only been out for like less than two weeks and there's already half a million people playing this game on the PS3. It's already had an update or two and it's running quite well from what I'm hearing. It's nothing like the PC version, obviously, but it's still a bloody awesome game and quite fun. And next year, we'll see it on the Xbox One and possibly the PS4 also. So yeah, it's just really awesome to see an indie game develop into something just this awesome. And half a million people People playing it on the PS3 in just over a week's time, that's just epic news. Now, since I did just mention the Xbox One and the PS4, we move to our next news report of the day, and it's that the PS4 and the Xbox One sold 1,000 systems per minute on Amazon at their peak. This was about a week ago during those crazy holiday sales just before Christmas, and now Amazon is bringing out these numbers and what they were selling per minute and per hour, and it's just ridiculous. To be specific, at their peak, both systems, Xbox One and PlayStation 4, were both selling 1,000 consoles per minute. It wasn't just a thousand between them, it was a thousand each, which is ridiculous. Now on Cyber Monday alone, shoppers ordered over 36.8 million items worldwide at 426 items per second. This wasn't just next gen related or gaming related, this was like everything in their system. And to see the Xbox One and PS4 doing so well, this, this is just awesome news. It's especially awesome news for people that have the Xbox One or PS4 just like myself, because now we have more people to play online with than these new people will have these old people like myself. Man, I feel old. <laughs> anyway, to our final news report of the year, and it's about a game that is going to be out next year, and it's set to be a big, big blockbuster. As you guys can see, this game is known as Destiny. And our news today is that Bungie has explained how the leveling system will work for characters in the game. They haven't gone into too much detail, but they've given us enough to just get a little more excited until the new year. As you can see on screen, they stated the three things that all characters can upgrade are their weapons, their armor, and their focus. So when you're wearing your armor, you're earning your experience on your armor and leveling up. When you're using your weapons to get kills, those specific weapons are leveling up. And your focus also levels up when you're getting kills and completing activities. And Bungie has also explained that this isn't everything to how the leveling system works. They're going to explain more and more over time. You know, kind of like what Rockstar did with GTA 5, where they just gave us a little bit of information, then a little more and a little more. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Destiny next year. It's going to be an amazing game. I'm looking forward to Titanfall. I'm looking forward to so many games in 2014. But this is 
2013 and this was my final gaming news show of 2013. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and that was an amazing year and Gorilla Man is now here with his question. Thanks Gorilla Man. Okay guys, the final question of 2013 from Gorilla Man is what was your favorite gaming related moment in 2013? So put your answers down below in the comment section. You can end up on the next show. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smack that like button because I'm Champ Charlie Max. This is Australian here. The answers are Gorilla Man's previous question. I only drop the bass.